This screencast is on chemical quantities and calculations. This is part two of three, which covers molecular formulas and weights. Please have your chemical quantities and calculations handout available, printed, and ready for taking notes. And please have your periodic table of elements available for reference. The molecular weight, which is referred to in the text as molecular mass, and we'll use those interchangeably, is the mass of one mole of an element or a compound. The molar mass is the atomic mass expressed in grams. We'll go through some examples next. So let's determine the molecular weight or molar mass of K3PO4. And this is just simply potassium phosphate. So we're going to break down this molecule or compound into its individual atoms. And we're going to determine the mass of each atom, sum those masses up, and determine the molecular weight or molecular mass. This is a very common thing to do, and you'll be doing it repeatedly. So let's try to watch and see if we can do it correct and remember it. So for the element potassium, there are three moles of potassium in one molecule of potassium phosphate. That's what that subscript means. It means there's one mole of phosphorus and four moles of oxygen. Hence, we can go down here, put one mole of phosphorus, four moles of oxygen, and that's one mole of this compound. The atomic weight for each of these elements is obtainable from periodic table of elements, and we just simply look them up. And here they are for each of the three elements. Take the three moles, times their mass, and we get the total mass. When we add the total mass up, it adds up to 212.3 grams of potassium phosphate. So the molecular weight of K3PO4 is 212.3 grams per mole to four significant figures. And the significant figures are from the elements. All the elements in our periodic table have four significant figures. That's how you determine a molecular weight. It's very similar to a weighted average problem. As a conversion factor, they can be very helpful in determining other items. Let's look at some equalities. One mole of hydrogen is easy to determine. You just look it up in the periodic table, and by definition, hydrogen weighs 1.008 grams per mole. So it's not a far reach to take a look at the diatomic molecule, hydrogen, and see that since there's two atoms here, it weighs twice, twice as much. So, hydrogen as a diatomic molecule weighs 2.016 grams per mole. If you look at methane, we just break down the carbon element, the hydrogen element. We know carbon weighs approximately 12 grams per mole. Hydrogen weighs approximately 1 gram per mole, so 12 plus 4 times 1 is 4, so 12 plus 4 is 16, approximately. When you do the math, at 16.04 grams of CH4 is 1 mole. Very similar, 1 mole of H2O is 18.02 grams of H2O. That's 2 times 1 plus 16, which is approximately 18. And then the molecule we just looked at, which was potassium phosphate, is 212.3 grams per mole. And we can express this as a conversion factor by placing one part of the equation on top of the other, or the inverse. This becomes important when we determine a couple of things. Let's go through some examples. How many grams of aluminum are 3.0 moles of aluminum? Here's the mass equality. You simply look it up in your periodic table of elements. Take three moles. Multiply it by the conversion factor, which is your dimensional analysis, and you get 80.9 grams of aluminum, which is the answer. Let's do a slightly more complex problem. How many moles of water are in 24 grams of water? 24 grams of water, you determine 
one mole is 18.02 grams of H2O. To get this number, you have to add up the grams of hydrogen, the grams of oxygen, which are two, plus if you look up on the periodic table, oxygen is 16 grams per mole. When you add that up, you get this conversion factor. So there's a little bit of background in here, but a lot of these you can do in your head. And the answer becomes 1.33 moles of H2O. Let's convert grams to moles and then particles. How many H2O molecules, so they're looking for particles, are in 24 grams of H2O? Well, we just determined that 24 grams times the molecular weight of water. That's what this is. Once we determine that, all we have to do is really multiply it by Avogadro's number. That gives us molecules per mole. And you get a large answer. It's asking how many molecules. So we're going to the microscopic world, and this will be a very large number which is 8.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules of water. Thank you for watching this screencast.